To make the short and long stitch, you're going to begin by creating some straight stitches. You're going to want to make these stitches right next to each other and you're going to want to make them at varying lengths. Basically, the more differentiated the lengths are, the more natural this stitch will look. If you are making all of your stitch lengths at the same lengths every time or the same exact differing lengths um, back and forth in a pattern, it's going to look really rigid and look robotic. So I think it's important to note that you want to make these all at varying lengths and randomized for the best outcome of this stitch. And I'm just creating this layer of stitches across the base of the shape that I'm filling in and then we'll swap to another color. So I've swapped to another color, this little orange color, and it's totally optional. Here I'm kind of going for a faded look, but you can totally use the same color. It's up to you. And what I'm doing here is I'm coming up through the middle or the upper portion of those stitches that we just stitched and then I am continuing that straight stitch up at varying lengths and continuing in that way to help give it a natural look. And so I'm going to do that all the way across here and I'm basically just repeating that um, throughout this entire stitch. It's also important to note here that I'm using DMC embroidery floss which is made up of six strands and I'm using three strands but to get an even more natural look with this stitch you can use less threads like two or even one for a super detailed um, and delicate look. It's totally up to you and you can kind of play around with the number of threads you use to see what outcome you will get. Now I'm coming in with my third and final color and I'm doing exactly the same thing, coming up and splitting those threads and then continuing my stitch upwards. Here you can notice I think I missed a stitch there, so you just have to keep your eye out um, for where those stitches are and if there's any blank spots just go ahead and add an extra stitch and fill it in. This stitch is a great stitch to use as a filler, maybe where satin stitches couldn't get the job done or if you want to stitch on clothing and the satin stitches would just be too long that they would get snagged on something, this would be a great alternative as it will still fill it in but your, short your stitch lengths are much shorter. Um, and again, you can play with the colors, you can do faded looks, um, you can play with the number of threads and really customize this stitch for some different outcomes depending on how detailed or how basic you want it to look. Hope this was so helpful to you and if you want to learn some other embroidery stitches, be sure to check out this playlist. And until next time my friends, happy stitching!